Hey everybody! Welcome to Lady in the Window. Uh, today we are playing with magnolias. So magnolias are blooming um, all over where we are. We've got star magnolias, these are tulip magnolias. Uh, my neighbor has a big huge uh, tulip magnolia tree and uh, we talked her into letting us steal some blossoms. And Okay, I didn't steal them. But she did let me pick some. So what I did, this is a branch that had already fallen. Um, but all you need to do uh, is actually snap off the, the flowers. So we're going to show you how to do this because all we need is the blossoms. So um, when you are up in the tree, you don't actually need to snap off any of the branches. All you need to do is go and um, take the flower petal and all you need is the petals so you just snap them right off and then once you have your flower petals in your hand uh, all you want for what we're going to do today is um, to take the leaves or the, I'm sorry not the leaves the petals and um, the petals will leave you the center of the bud and all we need is the petals and so those petals we're going to take and we're going to put into some cold water and we're just going to um, soak them. Really the goal of this is to get off any dirt, any bugs that might be there, uh, any whatever you have. Um, the younger the blossoms, the sweeter they are. So the ones that are more closed up are younger. Um, the ones that are big and open and kind of browned over are older. And all you're going to do is you're going to take this and we're going to make um, some vinegar out of magnolia petals. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your jar and you're going to fill it. My timing is bad because I now have a construction truck outside. You're going to fill it with as many of the magnolia petals, the rinsed petals, as you can. And you want it pretty full. Um, this will end up making a uh, beautiful pink purple uh, colored vinegar and you can use it on fish, you can use it on stir fries, you can use it on salads. Um, you can also eat magnolia leaves. Uh, they're an interesting flavor. Uh, some people think they're way too bitter to eat, <laughs> but uh, you could certainly try them. Um, so then I've got my jar packed with magnolia blossoms. Uh, there's a better shot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, it's just brown sugar melted in some water and it's been cooled down so I'm not going to totally kill these magnolia blossoms. So I'm going to fill it up a quarter of the way with that. Now this is really to your liking. Some people like things a little sweeter, some people like it a little less sweet. Um, and then... Sorry. And then you're going to add um, vinegar. Now, my favorite thing to use is rice vinegar for this. I don't have any on hand at the moment, so what we're using is white wine vinegar. You can also use apple cider vinegar. I wouldn't use basalmic. Um, you're gonna fill it up all the way to the top. Now, one thing you need to know is you want either a lid on this that is not going to corrode, like one of the plastic lids, or you, oh, and now my, I don't know where it went, but um, you want a piece of parchment paper that you put over that before you put um, the lid on, uh, simply so that you don't rust out your, your metal lids. Um, the reason for that is because it is a vinegar solution and it will rust your lid. Um, so we poke everything down. Um, you know, a lot of people love to mix this up um, prior to putting it in the jar, but I just wanted to show you how it was done then you uh, would put your parchment paper on here, which I'm going to have to go find. <laughs> it blew away. And then you put your lid on. Uh, so don't forget that parchment paper. And then you just turn it every once in a while. Make sure it's nice and mixed up. And that liquid is going to turn into a nice pink uh, vinegar. And uh, it's wonderful um, to treat yourself with. Uh, you do take the petals out once it's sat for about... Um, a week or two, the longer the better, um, and you can also pickle magnolia flowers. Um, you can do lots with it, throw it on a salad, uh, but magnolia flowers is something we wanted to introduce to you as an option here. 
for foraging. So enjoy. Show us pictures of how you used your magnolia, magnolia flowers, and we'll talk to you soon. Ciao.